Yo, what is up? Recon Mission is back for one week. We have three new maps to explore and today we're going to check out this map called Place of Power or it's called Asia Ravine or something like that. Basically, it's a left to right map or right to left, east to west attacking each other. There are a couple of places on the map that are interesting. Basically, there is like a riverbed up north. Uh, it's filled with water and the center of the map is like a low ground and uh, number three here it looks like some kind of little town which we're going to play in today and basically this whole map has got some uh, tank destroyer positions where you can cross fire each other basically from north to south you can shoot each other but you're attacking left to right this is going to be a pretty interesting map uh, today we are on the uh, eastern side of the map and i'm in a heavy tank i'm going to go into this position three here where there is a, a bit of a little town and uh, let's jump straight into it off we go we are in a vz55 heading down south of the map where the little town is it does look like some kind of chinese or japanese or some kind of ancient asian town nothing like the asia we we know today most asian cities are very modern and uh, don't look anything like this but i would imagine sometime in the maybe in the 30s the 40s it would look something like this um, but anyway here we go we are smack down south in the middle of the map um, there is a little bit of elevation uh, on to my left and on my right i can see a lot of flat ground it looks like uh, this map is um kind of open we have a couple of buildings here on the southern side of the map but generally in most parts of the map you are looking at uh, terrain and undulations that is going to be your uh, main protective cover if you will uh, there isn't much hard cover going around the map uh, this is the only part of the map with hard cover i.e buildings rocks and stuff like that uh, the rest of the map is as you can see i'm trying to use third person view here where you can see the north side of the map being able to shoot the south side of the map and uh, the south side of the map being able to shoot the north side of the map so the only protection you are basically going to get is from the terrain which means this map is going to be excellent if you have uh, some kind of uh, view range uh, equipment or view range crew if you are in a light tank or if you are in medium tank uh, with optics uh, with binocular telescopes uh, it's going to work well here because in the middle of the map and the north side of the map you're going to have bushes you're going to have uh, terrain hills and undulations as you can see a lot of um, stuff you can hide yourself in but you there is no hard cover apart from these buildings here on the south now i'm being kind of uh, pensive i'm be, uh, uh, being very conservative right here that's because we have uh, six tanks right here in this position and there is just no place for me to maneuver without someone getting in my way or me getting into someone's way and now that that t57 has moved away i find a little spot for me here i just need someone to poke forward now that super conqueror didn't spot me when he poked forward there that's because he exposed his lower plate to me but he did not poke out his turret enough to spot me so he didn't spot me and that chieftain behind me poked forward without uh he didn't think that i was there because i was not spotted by that super conqueror and because of that i landed two shots on that um a chieftain taking out over a thousand damage on him and now i'm reloaded and i'm going to finish off that ch that chieftain's remaining 800 plus hp and uh basically in two clips i completely destroyed a chieftain now it's time to move forward even though i'm reloading because uh, this side is going to collapse very quickly we are definitely going to win this side so i'm trying to be as aggressive as i possibly can uh reno's toronto has oh, a lot of hp so i can land two full shots on him and uh, claim my 873 damage i would assume that is a bit of a low roll on my part because um the vz55s do four 
uh, 490 uh, 4, 460 damage or something like that right uh, impossible amount of damage but uh, the VZ-55 seem to be a very strong tank right now so anybody playing the VZ-55 has got a little bit of an advantage uh, over the rest of the team now what I want to do is actually try to make my way in the low ground and see if I can uh, cross in the open uh, without taking fire and get towards the north where all the action is but I know where the STB or the uh, sniper's um, sniper's nest is and I took a bit of a bounce there from an STB and changed my mind and decide to push um, all the way down south to the uh, western part of the map I wanted to cross but there was no place for me to cross without uh, taking a lot of damage from the STBs that were still there so I decided to um, make my way up north we are down two tanks um, what I decide to do is right now get into their cap and perhaps apply pressure on the cap and uh, force that STB to come back down to their base to defend it. I spot the uh, STRV and the land one shot on him. He manages to retreat before I could land my second shot so I just decide to uh, clip and continue to make my way back uh, into their cap circle and uh, start applying pressure into their cap so that's where we're at right now i'm just going to go sit in their cap and start the countdown and uh, perhaps force them to make their way back to defend their base we are two tanks ahead but uh, we are down on on uh, hp two and a half thousand hp down i tried to balance out that stb but we are still uh, a little bit down in terms of uh, hp we are down 2000 hp which means um i can't really go forward here i need to keep my pressure on the cap to make them come back um we're doing a good job defending our base because they can't seem to get into our base uh, without being resetted from that 260, uh, 268 version 4 that is defending our base. So we're kind of safe from the home side. Uh, what I want to do here is try to make that E50M and that STB come back and um, come back and reset me. So I'm just sitting here and waiting. I want to spot that E50M if I can. And uh, let's just wait here while I uh get that stun shaken off i could have used my repair kit there but i want to save it for just in case and um, as we apply pressure i'm still waiting for that e50m here it comes he resets me and i'm going to land a shot on him i'll try to land a second shot on him but i can't i back off just in time for that uh artillery piece to only take 42 damage out of me i am reloading so i'm depending on that STB to finish off that E50M and he's done it and uh, now there is no more pressure on our cap circle so I can turn it around and uh, try to chase after the last bits of damage there either on that STB or on that Conqueror gun carrier but that was a very quick uh, a very quick seven minute game uh, a little bit of introduction to uh, this map called place of power or um asia ravine what do you think about it uh we've only explored the southern side of the map maybe later on uh, i will make another video on the northern side of the map but this map seems interesting for me uh it, interesting to me it looks a little bit unfinished as you can see uh, the grass is not that um properly finished but i do like uh, the layout of this map it looks interesting uh, it looks like a lot of light tanks and medium tanks will do well in this map and uh, i kind of enjoy this map i'm looking forward to the other two maps that i will hopefully be able to review for you guys a bit later but let me just get this video out right quick for you guys thanks for watching and i'll see you on the next video Bye bye